Hello, my name is Adam Ratcliffe and I'm a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you about formatting your axes in Tableau. This should allow you to control the formatting of your charts a bit better. Once you've connected yourself to the uh, sample Superstore dataset, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the independent axis function within Tableau. So if you go ahead and you grab your order date, right click and drag it onto columns, go down here to the green continuous months, hit OK. Go ahead and grab a subcategory from the product drop down and grab profit as well and pop that next to there on rows. As you can see, you get a series of line charts here, but a lot of these line charts don't move very much. You're not getting the story of what's happening over the years uh, from a lot of these. Some of them work a bit better than others, and that's because all of them have been given the same range in their axis, which means that some they all go from minus 5K to 10K, and this one clearly doesn't go anywhere near those values. So to fix this issue, we right click on any of these axes, we click on edit axis, and we look for this third one down, independent axis ranges for each row or column. So in this particular instance, we have one line chart per row, a subcategory is on the rows. So if we click this, we see that all of our charts update and they now have a much more um, representative image of the data. We can clearly get a lot more information out of this and this is very useful for when you have more than one chart in one sheet. The next function we're going to look into is the include zero part of edit axis within Tableau. And once again, we're going to grab order date, we're going to right click and drag up to rows, and we're going to do discrete years here at the top. We're then going to grab order ID, we're going to right click and drag that to rows, put that on the counter distinctive order ID, so we can measure the number of orders we've had each year and how that might have changed. So we've started close to 1000, and in 2021, almost at 1,700 here. We might not be interested in how high up that first value is, so that's where we started. We may consider this our base point, in which case we can right click on the axis, go back into the edit axis menu, and see this top, in the top right, we have a include zero checkbox. If we uncheck it, zero will no longer be included in this axis, and it will therefore start at a value tablet decides near the first mark. This gets rid of uh, white space from the bottom of your chart, which could uh, be a good way to clear things up, particularly if you have a chart that has loads of white space in it and a lot more years would mean that all of the changes would happen with massive amounts of white space. Another thing to consider when putting a chart together for your axes is the tick marks. That could make a big difference to how it looks. So if we uh, go ahead and right click and drag order date onto the columns and choose continuous green months down here at the bottom and then just grab profit and pop that into rows. You can see over here on the profit axis that profit is lined every 2000. So we get quite a lot of lines here. It's not too bad to be honest, but if you wanted to change it so there were a few less lines, then we could go into edit axis, move from the general tab to the tick marks tab, hit fixed, and it's going to default us to 10,000 for some reason, which is obviously not enough detail. We can go in here and we can type in 2.5K and Tableau will know that K means 1,000 and it will automatically update that there. And you've got a few less lines, makes it a bit cleaner and a bit nicer to look at. And we can go ahead and we can do a similar thing down here for the month of order date. Right click, go to edit axis, open up our tick marks tab, and for dates, it works a little differently, but we'll go ahead and we can fix it again. We have this tick origin part, so where the tick starts. And usually you want this to start at the, the beginning. At the moment, it's not. It's starting towards the end of 2019, which is not the beginning of this data set. I know this data set begins at the beginning of 2018, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in the first of the first, 2018. And then I'm going to decide that we should have a tick marks of every six months. So we can choose our unit here and we can choose our interval in here. So then we have January, July of each of the years we have information for. The last tip I'm gonna share with you here is a good way to get your headers to the top of your chart where they won't automatically default. So if we grab K, 
category, put that into the columns, and we'll grab sales, and we pop that into the rows, make it a bit wider. You see that furniture, office supplies, and technology are all down here on the bottom. And maybe you want those on the top. And there's not a clear way to do it. It's not actually in the edit axis. Remember, this is edit axis. It's a header. So you can't go into a menu here to sort that out. You have to go into analysis, go down here to the middle where it says table layout, open up this side menu, click here on advanced at the bottom, search down here for the columns section, and where it says show innermost level at the bottom of view when there is a vertical axis. There is a vertical axis here in sales, and the innermost level is category, so it's showing it at the bottom of the view. But we want it at the top of the view, so we're going to uncheck that. And there we go. We move it to the top. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned some more about axis formatting tips. If you want to learn more, check out this video on making line chart labels fit.